how does upper and lower eyelids reflect what's happening with the rest of the face? Well, upper eyelids in themselves are, are fairly isolated. It's quite easy to just operate on the upper eyelids in isolation without anything else. However, the lower eyelid is a reflection in what's happening in the rest of the face. So as, because gravity is working against you with your lower eyelids, as your face descends, you tend to see what's going on in your lower eyelids. You may see fat bags there that have been there all along, but they were covered up before, that you're only able to cover up, only able to cover up now that you, when you smile. So that can happen, and the fat that was previously over the front of your eyes, which made you look youthful, so fat's not always bad, fat can make you look youthful, um, covers up the orbital margin, which is the, the visible um, underlying bone. And you'll notice in a child, you don't see any of these things. Everything runs smoothly. As you get older, you start to see what goes on underneath. So what do we want to do? We want to reverse all those changes. So the lower eyelid is a reflection in what's happening with the rest of the face. So mild lower eyelid problems can probably be corrected in isolation, but severe lower eyelid problems are probably a reflection of the entire face descending. And perhaps in that circumstance, you want to address with your surgeon other issues with the face that may actually give a benefit to the lower eyelid.